Rachel with another fish. I just caught a decent rainbow. Bring it right behind the boat, watch the other lines. You're going good. Fish on. Oh got a double. God. Hold on. Trying the best I can. All right, we've got our yeah, third fit box, well, technically our fourth fish on for the day. We didn't realize the GoPro wasn't working. We lost one. We got a big rainbow and we have a coho. And now we have, if I was to guess, I would say a rainbow. This I think, I think this is that orange spoon. This really doesn't go over much. No, you gotta like, Keep reeling fast and just lifting it out of like lifting it up. Now put your rod tip down. So we just got that rainbow on that flasher with a purple fly. That's the second one we've caught on this fly. Both rainbows. Uh, dipsy diver back 115 feet on setting three. I forget what that's called, but it's a new one. You feel them on there? Yeah. I mean, you feel head shakes or you just feel weight? Yeah, he's on there. I see the tip moving. You're good. You're good. I just keep making me nervous. Well, usually, you know, if you get a bigger fish, you can feel them. So they must be like, co we might have hit some cohos because I think this might be our second one. The rainbow would be jumping and the king would be running. But see, it's coming right to the surface. I don't know. Yep, he's on there. Yeah, that's a coho. Nice. They taste delish. You can just flick him right into the boat. We don't even need a net for him. Yeah. It's what we call a shaker. Just flick him right into the boat. Don't even slow down. Okay. But don't hold them in the air. Just get them on the floor. You're good. All right. On the watermelon. Nice. All right. Well, we just lost that one at the boat. And now we're getting another one. We had a double. Grave Digger has had four fish on it today. The watermelon has had two. I can't remember what's on this. I think I, I just changed this lure. Oh, this is that, I think this is that uh, green that I just put on. This time don't like lift it out, try to lift out of the water like you did. Just kind of keep pressure on the rod, but don't Pull up so hard. There he is bouncing around. Oh, there he is. Keep him down, let him down. Once he gets to the surface, give it a little bit of slack. You want to keep him underwater. They get that up. If they get up in the air, they'll start flicking that lure all over place, and you got all that other gear on there that he can use it as reference for a weight race. All right, let me know. Them. Fish on. See if Miss Rachel cannot lose this fish. She has a propensity to uh, oh my get him to the boat and then let him go because she's afraid to, to kill the fish. Oh. She's like, run, oh. little fish, swim, swim free. She just likes to torture him by dragging him by the face for a few hundred yards and then let him go. <laughs> that little fish nightmares every night. Feel them on there? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, right there, and I just lift up. I'll get okay. it. Okay. Yep. Keep going. This one I can net right away easy because it's not. You feel mine? Yeah, there's okay. definitely something. That's really one? Oh yeah, these are nice. Just a little bit. Okay. Here goes. Oh yeah, he's on the surface. Gnats are terrible today. Yeah. The wind died and they are all over. Okay, if he gets on the surface, remember, just give him a little bit of slack, let him get underwater. There you, can keep, you can keep reeling, just when he starts getting up on the surface, kind of let him stay down a little bit. You don't want him flipping and tossing and turning up there. There you go. Go ahead. I don't think he's gonna jump. Well, I don't know why the co the coals are just slamming today. That's a five color with a green spoon. Oh, there he is. Let's see if I can net this one handed or not. Oh, another nice coho. up a little bit. I don't got it too hard back, but sorry, pants. Yep. Bring him to your left. Bring him to the left. First fish of the day. We started about 30 minutes ago. It it's a coho. You can flick him right in the boat. On a downrigger with a dodger and a green with an orange dot spoon, I believe is that one. It just sped us up. We're going a little slow. Go ahead, reel right into the boat. Just a little. This little guy stays on. Oh my gosh. Flick him in. Flick him in. Don't just hang him there. All right. It's been a slow day. This is Rachel's second fish. The first one we let go. This little three quarter pound shaker. This one's definitely a keeper, whatever it is. I don't think it's a king, but it's definitely strong. It could be. We'll find out. from the water we are the only people out not sure why turn your clicker off left side pull that It's just a really good coho because it's not jumping out of the water like a rainbow or maybe a small king. I can feel a little bug. But it's not ripping drag or nothing. Oh, your brother's calling. Sorry, Dylan. I'm pulling in a fish. Or trying to. Okay, 
I got a netter. First, what we believe to be a king. We we're just setting up the rods. We got the third rod in. Just setting the fourth one in the water, and this one took off. Have you caught a king before? No. All right. All right. Now you can probably start really real. If you can get him to come in, just kind of lightly pull up on the rod, and then just kind of work between 45 degrees and about 80 degrees. Just keep that tension on that rod. Don't ever let it go slack. behind and then pull, come forward to the fish. Yeah, don't go at the fish because obviously we're moving so the fish wants to slide back. So you kind of dip underneath, go behind and kind of pull the net back in. Yep, as long as you can reel, reel him in. But as soon as he starts taking off, just let him go. There's no point in fighting it. Give him. If you can crank, give it a crank. You got left? 250. How much? 250. Oh, you got a ways. <laughs> Started at 70 on the downrigger. Down 40. Dodger. Green spoon with an orange dot. Don't lose them now. You got too much time invested. Once he starts getting close to the boat, he's going to run again. Yeah. It turned a little bit much to your right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Things are twisting us around. I don't want to get caught in other rhymes. There you go. How much? 70. All right, get ready. Be ready with your drink, because once he gets close to the boat, he's going to want to take off again. That's dead Andy. To net it. If you need to, you can extend the net a little further if you want, but it's probably good. I see color. Keep his head under the water, so if he starts coming up, just kind of give him a little bit of slack. Keep your rod up a little bit. You want to keep him fighting the rod, not you. When you have your rod tip straight at him, he's only on the line, so he can snap or throw the lure. So you want to keep that rod at about a 45. Okay. Yeah, he's, they like to run when they get near the boat. These waves are getting bigger. Tire himself out, unless you can get line in on him. Turn a little bit to your left. Oh man, 
That's a nice king. You want me to net Andy or you got it? All right. Just do not get that lure caught in the net because it'll rip it right off his mouth. So once he gets close, dip real fast. Don't try to net slow. That is a nice king. Looks like a bluefin tuna. Let him get tired and just slowly just let him work. He'll get tired. Don't reel to, don't reel all the way to that metal because it'll snap your line. You know, bring him turn your rod towards the back of the boat. Get him towards the back of the boat. There you go. Get it. Holy moly. Nope, oh, no, hold on. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Okay, you can reel that. Just kind of lift him towards back it this way. Get him direct to your dad. Just don't get that line caught in it. Keep him back there. Oh shit, come around, come around, come around, come around. Okay, now come back. There you go. You're gonna get him around the dipsy line. Or the downrigger line. Okay, bring him back over this way again. Alright, scoop him. Oh, never mind. Okay, now walk straight back. Walk straight back. Walk straight back. Bring him right to the back of the boat here. Walk back. Walk back. Nope. Got to go fast because they'll they'll swim swim you. Reel up. Okay, there you go. Come up. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Come on here. Here, right here. Scoop him. Scoop him right here. From the head. Holy. From the head, from the head. Oh, hold on. 